So this is St Hugh's, it is the furthest out undergraduate college in Oxford, a mere five minutes to the centre though by bike if you cycle quickly. Um, Oxford have colleges, so when you apply to Oxford you apply to a college which is basically your home and where your tutors are and they organise your teaching. So this is the St Hugh's College Dining Hall. We have meals here three times a day, um, although I normally have breakfast in my kitchen and I just have some toast. Um, and it's just really social and the food is really good. So next up is the chapel and anyone is welcome in the chapel. They have services at St Hugh's once a week and they have a non-auditioning chapel choir and uh, organ and choral scholarships too. Just down the corridor from the chapel is my room. Um, this is main building fresher accommodation um, so only first years live here. My room is Possibly one of the biggest first year rooms, um, because as a music student you have a piano in your room. Um, not all colleges do it, but the most vast majority do, um, which just means we get a bigger room, which is always good. So you stay in your room for nine weeks um, term, and then you do have to move out of vacations, which is a bit annoying. Um, my college has storage though, so we're allowed to put two boxes in, or five if you're international. Um, we don't have en suites in this building, but we have six toilets between 26 of us and four showers, which sounds like a lot, but I have never had to wait for either. This is the shared kitchen between all 26 of us, so if you don't want to go to full one evening, you can just cook in here. Um, there is the almost compulsory washing up pile, although it is actually quite low today, um, but it can get a bit messy and like a student kitchen. So my accommodation for this year is in main building and if we come out of main building we get to the stereotypically Oxford croquet lawn which any student is allowed to play on any time. Um, St Hughes is really big and has really really nice gardens um, as you can see here that those tents in the background aren't normally there it's actually in preparation for our college ball which is happening on Saturday and it's the biggest black tie ball in Oxford. Over here we have the Dixon Poon building in front of us and this um, has graduate accommodation, it's the University China Centre so it has a really big library and also has another uh, kind of cafe place underneath which does really good food, it's an alternative to pool. And can we just appreciate the dogs in the ground? The principal has a dog, those aren't the principal's dogs but um, other dogs around. Um, this here is Maplethorpe Building, which is mainly for finalists, but there is one staircase of freshers, which my friend luckily has a room. Um, their rooms are generally regarded as quite big, and they have en suites, as you will see in a moment. Um, this is actually one of the smaller rooms for Maplethorpe Building, um, but you can see it's quite a different style to the main building rooms. Regardless of where your room is, though, you will all come with a desk and bed and chairs and um, kitchen at St Hughes. Um, although the kitchens do vary in size, as you will see later. I think it's fair to say most people are quite jealous if you're a first year for the maple salt room. Across another lawn here we have the houses which uh, offer accommodation for um, second, third and graduate students and they also have tutor offices in them. And next up we have Kenyon Building. Kenyon Building is St Hughes College compulsory 1960s build which almost all Oxford and Cambridge colleges have. Um, it just, yeah, there's a lot of concrete. It even has a kind of slide, um, which is quite dangerous but funny. Kenyon also has um, one of the two laundry rooms um, which cost £2 for washing and I think 60p for drying or something. And they also have very, very, very small kitchens um, and a bathroom attached to it for some reason. Um, this is all fresher accommodation in this building. This is my friend's room, oh, who kind of let me show you around. Uh, again, a really different style and she has a sink and her room. St. Hughes offers a room ballot system, which means that um, if you have not such a great room in your first year, you'll have a good one in your second year and then a middle one in your third year um, and it kind of balances out, but your accommodation will generally improve year on year, um, but it's all really good anyway, so it's nothing to worry about. 
at St Hughes, because of this ballot system, all of our rooms cost the same amount each year, so it's all really fair. This is some more accommodation, it's Wolfson Building, um, which is second year staircases. So you can ballot for or a staircase with a group of friends, and I think they vary from about five groups of friends to eight. And they're really close to the library. Um, each college in Oxford has a library. St Hughes College used to be a women's college, which means that the library is really, really big because women weren't, uh, didn't used to be allowed in the main Bodleian Library. Um, it's also open 24 hours a day, every day of the week. So if you're a late night person, then it's quite helpful. And here is St Hugh with his swan. He had a pet swan. The library has books for every subject. Um, music is quite a small subject and even have a special area for us up in the gallery, um, which is over here. Um, you have your college library to go to, the main Bodleian library for the university, and then also your faculty library. So most of my books are in the faculty library, but occasionally some are in the college library too. Out here, you can see the croquet lawn again, so it's got a bit shadier. Next up, we have the St. Hughes College Bar. So again, every college has a bar, and um, this is a really good place for socials, and we have what are called bops, and those are parties in the college bar at St. Hughes. They happen three times a term, and um, music playing, and it uh, goes on quite late, and also the um, Christian Union have toast in the JCR if that isn't really your thing. Um, and you don't have to eat of any religious affiliation. We always go there for the Nutella every three weeks. Um, we also have a gym, which unfortunately I'm not a member of, so I can't show you inside, but you can see a little bit of it, um, which is generally used by quite a few people. It costs £30 a term or £60 for the year to be a member of. And if we go upstairs from our bar, we go to some more accommodation, and then we get to our JCR, which is the junior common room. This means two things. Firstly, it is the undergraduate student community um, are called the junior common room, and then also it is this physical space. And the JCR is used um, for film nights and uh, for toast at bops, and um, also just to show with friends or if there is something on TV, so like we watched the Peacock final in here and um, yeah, it's just nice to chill out. And they also have, uh, I think they have a PS4 and some games. Each college also has their own JCR committee, um, which kind of represent the students to the college and help with welfare. So for example, some Sundays we have welfare tea in the JCR. This is another building, it's the Mary Gray Allen building, which has the nurses office up those stairs. Um, she's in college oh, every day of the week and the doctor is in once a week and then we also have bike racks outside. At St Hughes because we're a bit further out almost everyone has a bike but some people do walk it just takes a bit longer. And then if we continue going through we're back to main building so that is a tour of St Hughes College. It's really really big um, one kilometre in perimeter um, but it's really really friendly nice college. <laughs> 